How are we doing everyone? We're back with Impact Sports Training TV. Today we're going to cover the bench press, a very popular lift. You know, Monday, National Bench Day, people love pressing. So what we're looking for here is our heels firmly planted against the ground, basically scooting them towards the butt. I also want the butt firmly against the bench. I want the hands equal distance apart. The elbows tucked at approximately 45 degrees from the torso. A slight arch in our back there. We're gripping the bar as firmly as possible and we're staying as tight as possible as well. Setting up for the bench press is crucial and we'll go over that here in about a minute. Um, we bench press with our athletes to develop explosive upper body power and strength and size. Let's take a deeper look at how to set up for the bench press. First things first, we're going to get our grip set. The hands should be equal distance apart. For most, putting the pinkies on the rings of the barbell, you can't see them, they're under his pinkies, is a good area. A little bit closer might work for people with shoulder injuries, and a competitive powerlifter might use a wider grip to limit range of motion. We talked about this earlier, keeping the elbows tucked, the scapula back, tucked in. This will provide an optimal bar path and a healthy shoulder. Here we're seeing keeping the scaps back. Always stay tight. Next up is the arch. Most athletes don't need to have an excessive arch, so we'll teach a small one. If you're a competitive powerlifter, you are going to get the most out of your arch to limit the range of motion, giving you a better bench press. We are now going to go over some of the common errors we see in the bench press. There are quite a few and they can be pretty detrimental to our shoulders and other health. So first one is our feet are not going to be um, driving through the floor. We need more stability when we bench. We want to transmit a lot of power from our feet through the bar. Right here my butt's going to come off. You know in competitive power lifting that just won't count. So we need to keep the butt on. That's a little better. That's not. Now, this is our boss, Chris Bell. He's hyperextending his wrist. If we have a lot of weight on the bar, that is really going to hurt our wrist in the long run. Now he's bouncing the bar off the chest. We just want to firmly come down, touch, and go. This is a difficult one. We see it a lot is people unrack the bar far away from their body, and that's a lot of undue stress on the shoulder as well. We want to be right under the bar as we unrack it. Worst one of all for us, I think, is the elbow flare, creating more stress on the shoulder. And then lastly, some uneven hands. If you can see on the knurling there, we're going to zoom in. The hands are not centered, and we're going to favor one side. Could lead to shoulder pain. 